Um, so who in here enjoys a nice juicy steak? Oh yeah, I figured so. Um, so well, there's been a lot of controversy over whether or not um, antibiotic treated cattle is safe to eat because people are afraid of they're actually consuming the antibiotics that are um, used in the cattle. Um, this is a topic I found pretty interesting because I was raised on a ranch and um, I wanted to obtain a background knowledge of whether or not we could use antibiotics um, in our cattle. Um, so we're going to discuss the problem, which is the antibiotic use in beef cattle, what the solutions would be, and whether or not it's safe to keep eating beef. Um, so here's the problem. Uh, many people are afraid that they're consuming the antibiotics that were given to the cattle, um, furthering their chance of antibiotic resistance. Um, according to M.A. McCochran on exploreanimalhealth.org, antibiotic resistance refers to bacteria that evolved to the point that they're not easily killed with uh, antibiotics. So in short, people are worried um, when they eat the beef cattle, the beef products, um, there might be antibiotic resi uh, residues left in the meat, and um, this is causing them to become more immune to like diseases and um, infections that we fight as humans with our antibiotics. Um, so that's the problem. Let's talk about the solutions. Um, so first of all, we all know that there's plenty of safeguards that go into effect um, before our meat is set out on the market uh, for us to buy. Um, on HealthPost.com, Charlie or not, or not wrote under the article, are there any antibiotics in my meat that's clear, clear confusion? And he ensured that any meat that we buy on the market, um, no matter the label, is safe. You know, they may be labeled um, raised without antibiotics or antibiotic free or even raised with antibiotics, but it's all the same. Um, to follow that, in the same article, Charlie mentioned the USDA, which is the United States Department of, Ag of Agriculture, and, and he ensures that the oh, the, uh, he says that uh, they routinely test the meat, you know, every time it's processed to ensure that there's no residue left behind. Um, also, he explains the rigorous FDA approval processes, uh, which is the Food and Drug Administration. Um, before any antibiotic is even used in livestock, it's first tested to make sure it's safe to use in the animals, and they also test it to know the withdrawal period. And the withdrawal period is um, like how long the antibiotic stays in the animal system. Um, so uh, with the withdrawal period being known, they're not going to like butcher or process any um, beef cow, you know, until they're sure that's out of their system. And the withdrawal period may be like 15 to 30 days or something. It's usually no longer than that. Okay, so. The video's kind of old and cheesy, but it just... <laughs> Um, I was raised on a ranch, and so I'm pretty familiar with doctoring sick livestock. 
Um, the antibiotics we use in our cattle are Batril, Draxin, and Exceed, which are all used to treat BRD. This is bovine respiratory disease. Um, the withdrawal period on these drugs are between 13 and 20 days. And uh, so cattle are prone to respiratory diseases um, because of their lung size compared to their body. As you can see, it's, they're very small compared to, I mean, their body, obviously. You know, it's about the same size of a dog, and the cow is four times the size of a dog, you know? Um, so that is a livestock caregiver. We're not going to let our cattle sit out there, you know, and go and treat it. It's just inhumane to be, take care of these cattle and have responsibility for them, but yet not, you know, doctor them when they need, um, you know, the right medicine and so forth. Um, so we discussed our issue with becoming anti uh, antibiotic resistant, and I showed you all the safeguards required to ensure that the meat we eat is safe. So in conclusion, eat beef, y'all. It's safe, <laughs> I promise. Um, you know, all these safeguards go into effect, and it's just totally safe. So just go out and eat some beef and enjoy it. <laughs>